Children who attend the Wellington Dental Clinic find it a pleasant place, and today a visit to the dentist is often regarded as fun. Even the waiting room is inviting. It's bright and roomy, there are magazines to read, no copies of Punch, and toys for the little ones. There's no one here to say, you're next. Instead, an indicator shows when your chair is ready. Though the clinic is big, you find your way around easily. Inside, it's white and clean. There's very little noise. This is the biggest of the 428 centers in which the school dental service operates, which is in 15 more than last year. A student dental nurse attends each child, but her work doesn't go unchecked. Here comes a qualified supervisor who looks over every stage of every operation and marks the student's work. Permanent teeth as well as baby teeth are treated here. Both are equally important. Extractions are not as frequent as they used to be, which is proof of the work the service is doing. When an extraction like this has to be made, it's an operation carefully watched by a supervisor. Side by side with the work of the dental clinic is the work of the training school for dental nurses. Training girls for this service was once the subject of a public controversy. Today the service is backed by the New Zealand Dental Association. The dental nurses are fully trained in theory and in practice. In addition to education, physical fitness and personality count in the selection of students. Here the girls are exercising on the roof of the school. Since 1935, there has been a rapid expansion of this service. Once, it was a long way for the children to come in from the suburbs to the clinic in Willis Street. Now, clinics are being established in the schools themselves, like this one at the Miramar Central School. A neat, modern building, well-equipped, and staffed by two nurses whose work undergoes regular inspection. Using foot-operated drills for better conferral of speed, they treat every child in the school. From preschool age and through the primary school, a child's teeth are treated free. Today, there are plans to extend the service further, to adolescents up to the age of 19. This service is another safeguard of our national health. 